What the heck? I just realized that everybody leveled up. When did they level up? I, I'm so confused. Okay. Apparently there's something in this general roll area. No. This general roll area, I think. Maybe not? No? Nothing? My map is lying to me. Hold on. Let's level people up because that is going to uh, be one thing that I forget very quickly. All right, she has all that. I could level that stuff up. Did she ever get the bow stuff? No. So let's upgrade her bow stuff. Um, starting with the sleep on that because it's pretty good. It's really good. Uh, Solus. What do I want to do with you? I don't even know. I mean, th this other stuff is fairly good. The passives, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. So, let's get... Um... Yeah, let's just upgrade that. Fine. And did Cassandra level up, too? She did! She did! But what should I... <laughs> what should I buff? I'll just buff her buff. There, there we go. Boom. Now, where the heck? I think this map has officially lied to me. Because I don't see anything here. Like, I was getting some loot pings, but that's a flower. It might be something that I have to come back for. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so how do I get into this compound? Well, obviously not this way, so we're going to have to go around. That's fine. We could do that. And then there's uh, a lot of stuff in there. A lot of combat in there, too. So I got uh, I got the DLCs running, by the way. So we are for sure going to go from this to the main story, from the main story to Jaws of Hakon. That's the way to pronounce it. <laughs> I've learned after doing it. Or doing most of it. I haven't done all of it yet. And then... Okay, hold on. We'll do this. Main story... And then Jaws of Hakon, that leaves us with Empress and Western Approach. So then we'll probably do Western Approach. No, we'll do Empress. And then we'll go and do Descent. Then we'll do... Yeah, yeah, I think you get the idea. Is there nothing here either? Oh, I'm like way out here. I thought I was going the other direction. Right, I should probably just look. That way I know which direction to head on my map. Because I thought I was going the other way. By the way, I like that I have all this guard. It's really nifty. Is there anything to the south? I got that. Yeah. I think we're good just to go this way. Break my way into this compound. Man, this place is so pretty. In fact, the, the new zone, speaking of pretty, for Jaws of Hakon, is also very pretty. However, it's like a mix between, like, cleansed Crestwood and this area. It's really kind of cool. You'll see what I mean when we get there. I like it a lot. <clears throat> and from what I can tell, it scales with your level, kinda. Because I'm doing it with a character that I beat the game with. So it's doing it at like level 25 stuff. But from what I've seen, not from like, scribbled notes. Did you hear Sister Constio has fallen? I'm surprised it took so long. She was soft. Fortunately, we also lost the rats. We were going to send to Suladin, and we would make sure that doesn't happen again. Anyways, I've seen like other, you know, pictures of people doing it, or video as well, of people doing it, and it's like level 20. So I think it just scales like from 20 to 25, depending on your, your level, which I like. But holy cow, is the gear good from it. Can't wait to get there. <clears throat> Some really good leather, medium armor. Don't come. Oh, it's just this guy there. Well, stealth. I'll just jump up over here. Die! Yeah! Can I throw knives? No, because I totally whiffed. That's cool. Wow, that freeze, though, from Solus was really good. The first three people. I like that. Oh, don't get hit. Oh, trees in my way. I can't see what I'm looking at. No. Uh, no. And, oh, dang it. 
as I used it. Let's debuff him. Get myself guard. Kind him. I also thought about the... They have two other... Taking advantage of the chaos of war. They have two other DLCs. Uh, one of them... Or actually, they're both armor DLCs. One of them's... Um, oh, jeez. That's a nice axe. Nice. Is that two-handed or one-handed? Weapons. Do -do -do. Uh, great sword. So it's got to be two-handed. Yeah. I... You know, or great axe rather. I um, I think I'll give that to Bull. We are gonna use Bull here shortly. I know I keep saying that, but for for realsies, we're getting there. Kind of wanted to use him here, but he didn't have the gear. Now he does. Uh, I think that's the way in. I don't want to do that. I want to look over here. Anyways, there's the two like armor DLCs. One of them's the the Avar stuff, and you're like, ah, okay. And then another one is the. Uh, Canari stuff, and you're like, oh, okay, that looks cool because there's the the Aeroshock armor from like Dragon Age 2 that the Aeroshock wears. So you're like, oh, that looks so freaking rad, I want that. Uh, but the problem is, it's yeah, it's kind of restrictive. <laughs> like, uh, of course, Varric would have one of his books just sitting here. The um, the 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 Aeroshock one, the the Canari one, rather. It's it's light armor, which looks pretty cool, and heavy armor. But there is no medium armor in it, so it's like, ah, uh, that's stupid, because I kind of wanted, like, a cool, like, rogue Aeroshock gear, but apparently not. That being said, though, there was a lot of medium armor in the Avar one, and it doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all, but it is really good gear, so it's like, uh, not worth it. Unfortunately, not worth it. I, I really only like DLC if it's in the form of story DLC anyways. Or like, uh, if, you know, The Witcher does a really good job of its DLC, right? It put out, like, really cool cosmetic DLC for some of the main characters. And it was free. You're like, that's the big thing there, isn't it? It's free. I think um, the entire industry could learn a lot from that. A lot. And I think it will. I don't. I don't see DLC in the future, <clears throat> like getting completely free forever. I think you're always gonna have paid DLC until the model changes, basically, if it ever changes. But for sure, at the moment, I think uh, I think The Witcher does it the best. Where like they give you a ton of free DLC. It's mostly cosmetic stuff, right? There's some little quests, but... You know, honestly, when, like, a game is near completion, the art team isn't doing anything anyway, so, you know, give them something to do, right? It's a good idea. So they gave, um... Oh, gosh, what quest is that? I keep looking at it, but I don't. So I literally have no idea. We're going to go in, though, and we're going to do it. And then from here, uh, we can do that and then hit up the camps over there that I got to place down. Yeah, D DLC is a touchy subject for me. Because, like, I really like cosmetic DLC. Because, it you know, it changes up the game a bit, but story DLC is just, hands down, the best kind. Like, with, uh, The Witcher... Should be holed up here. This place has seen better days. These men are thugs. What do you expect? Right. <clears throat> with The Witcher, you have the you know, the, the DLC in the form of cosmetic stuff, then you have the quest stuff, but then they're doing the thing that nobody does anymore, which is such a good idea. Have you? No, nothing recent anyway. Which is the use of expansion packs. Expansion packs are so good. Like Awakening, Dragon Age Origins Awakening was so good. Why don't more companies do expansion? Why have expansion packs died off? Like, expansion packs are, to me at least, from an outside perspective, seem like a really good way to make easy money. Because you're just developing more story content for the game that you've already made. So, you know, aside from building maybe some new assets, because to be honest, oftentimes they just reuse a lot of stuff. Then, 
you know, you already have the pre-established game beforehand, so you wouldn't expect to need to do as much work as, like, developing a new game. Sure, put some new systems in there. Put some additional, like, specializations for your classes. I think... I think a Dragon Age Inquisition expansion pack would just be the bee's knees. I would love it so much. <clears throat> and here's why. You have this Descent DLC that deals with the deep roads. Jeez. Dodge that. Deals with the deep roads. And deals with the wardens a bit. And we've gotten a lot of warden story in the game already. You know, between everything that happens with the wardens when they go kind of nuts and start summoning demons. And holy cow, I gotta be careful here. There's a lot of enemies. Where the heck are these guys coming from? But then you also have the, you know, the little bit of tie-in to your story from Origins where it talks about what the heck happened to your warden if they were still alive. Assuming they're still alive. That seems to be the last of them. I'm guessing that was the man in charge. You've struck a blow against the freemen. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Yeah, take that, Gordon. So, you know, you've got... Hold on, let me heal him up. You've got the really cool story, might I add, that happens if you have your warden still alive. Your, you know, hero of Ferelden. And if you did stuff like Romance Morrigan. It just gets so freaking cool as you guys have seen and I'm really glad we made those decisions because it it makes me really excited but what it also makes me do is it makes me realize Red Templar orders why are, why are Red Templar here oh I guess they're working with the free man right have a chat with uh, Malefant make sure everything's running smoothly while you're there see if there's any men who wish to volunteer their services in Empress du Lyon so that's a little bit of crossover story there I guess Always use a few more. Be discreet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems we interrupted their meeting with the Templars. Suck it. They weren't expecting us. Whatever they came for might still be here. Yeah, might. So yeah, you get all this really cool story content with your your for, your hero for Elden. And here's the thing: because they've done that, because they've given you that little bone, because they've given us a little bit of the um descent story, right? With that, which isn't really. From what I hear, like I've talked to Garrick about it because he explained it, it's not really tied into the main story at all. We should search the area. Like, un unlike the Jaws of Hakan, which kind of is. Key. There's a rune inscribed on it, or part of one. Okay. Exalted March of the Dales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a creepy stuffed nug. If that's what that is. Pig, maybe? I don't know. But I think that they're going to put out an expansion. And if not an expansion, like a really good story DLC. Right? Because everything's alluding to it. That we're going to get this rad um, thing involving... And this I'm calling it now. Remember, this? I, like I record these as I go. So if this ends up being announced eventually, you'll hear about it in a future episode. And if you're watching it and it's already been announced, then you could say I told you so. I think they might do something story-wise. They must have been smuggling it for the Templars. Not anymore. Suckers. Okay. That's actually a lot of Red Lyrium in here. Holy crap. I think they're going to do a story piece uh, involving the Warden. The, the, I guess, the hero of Ferelden. And obviously it would tie into the Keep... Dragon Age Keep, except it. Rune engraved key. Oh, I need the other pieces. Right. <laughs> Spamming, because I spammed it. Um, you're like Okay, so say you have your warden alive, like I do. You, your Grey Warden. And he is off. The story currently given to us by Morrigan is he is off trying to find a cure for the calling, which is really cool. Right, if he could cure the calling, that changes the way wardens work. Now, imagine you, I don't know, didn't have your your hero of Freldon alive. Someone's got to be doing that, right? So, someone has got to have had to have taken up that quest. So, 
they they could very easily because I know what you're thinking. You're like, ah, but there's too many, and they've said it before. There's too many variables. Like, what if your warden's dead? What if? Well, I mean, they brought Leliana back if she was dead in your playthrough. They won't necessarily bring your warden back, but they may change it to a different character. Maybe it's like Strauss. Maybe like that would be pretty cool, right? Except if he dies in this game, then you know it would be someone else. It'd be like a third tier. Or maybe your warden died, but you recruited Logan. Then maybe it's it's Logan. Like you could have so many cool um, pieces, and it would be like the witch hunt DLC uh, for Origins, where you are looking for Morgan the entire DLC. You're, you're chasing her down. You're following leads, and at the very end, you find her. So it might be one of those things where they don't really have to invest a lot into bringing back the voice actor for Logan, even though he can be in Inquisition already. Or, you know, you're looking for, um, you know, Strauss or anything. Like, even, even if they wanted to voice, like, finally put a voice to your, your hero of Ferelden, I think that would be fine if they did that. As long as you could choose, just like the Inquisition, right? So you could choose, like, your Inquisitor's voice. I think it would be cool if they gave you, like, an option of four voices, two male, two female, to choose from. It would just be so freaking good. It would be so freaking good. I, oh, gosh, I want that so bad. Because you would find them at the end. Through the window. You'd find them at the end, and you'd be, like, you know, talking to them about how they cured the calling or how they're planning to cure the, the calling for wardens and then from there it's it's all about you know what what comes next for dragon age right like they could they could easily just end inquisition off there with that kind of dlc and be like see you in the next game wow i actually really wanted to read that <laughs> sexuality and thetos I know that sounds weird, but we're going to do it. Where's the codex again? Journal. No. no. Was it journal? Completed collections. Oh, gosh. I always forget. Codex. I'll just go from there. Uh, letters and notes. History, maybe? I don't think I'm ever going to find this. Uh, 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 no. Okay. So maybe letters and notes. Do. -do, -do. I, I don't think I can find this. I'm not going to waste the time. I'm just going to look through a few of these. Yeah. Oh, well. I think it would have been a funny book, but uh, I totally screwed that up. No pun intended. So, I that's what I feel. That's what I feel like. That's what I feel like they're going to go with. They're going to do something that involves the hero of Ferelden, or whoever is still alive from Dragon Age Origins, and they're going to tie those two games together really nicely, because they've already tied... Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition together really nicely. So why not just go the extra mile, get Origins in there, appease everybody at that point, because um, all the Origins fans would be like, oh, yes, finally, we're dealing with that story that I really cared about. You know, maybe bring back Alistair during that DLC uh, as, like, a companion that will be involved there and have, like, a classic team where it's, like, your Inquisitor the um well i guess it would be like leliana depending right because there's there's a chance that that at the end of the game she won't be around but maybe she can be uh, where's the other piece for this stupid thing did i oh maybe i have to forge it ah, i do okay okay all right Take that. Aha! Puzzles. So you bring back Leliana, bring back Alistair, and you bring back Morgan. And you do a classic team up, and they're the all trying class, to find the hero. The best loot. And you would do the same thing that you did with Hawk, where as soon as you like get into the game, maybe, like into the DLC, you go through and create what your warden or what your hero for Elden would look like. And then you select his voice and everything similar to how you did for 
your your character creation on this and similar to how you did for Hawk. And then what happens is when you go into the next Inquisit or the next uh, Dragon Age game, which will end up happening in the future, because it's all the Frostbite engine, you can import that stuff too. It would be it just makes sense. It just makes sense. Think about it. Thank you.